families, lives, careers will be ruined. Why are you in this alone? Where are the people you're protecting by not telling the whole story? I'll tell them everything they want to know about me. About me. That's it. So now we have the true story of Miss Molly Bloom, an Olympic class skier who ran the most exclusive poker game for years before getting caught. And how did I feel about it? Well, my name is Brennan Keith Avery, and this is just my opinion. Hey guys, thank you so much for tuning in to my opinion slash review for Molly's game. I really do appreciate it. But before we get into the review, help your boy out by clicking that subscribe button. Also click that little bell so you can be notified when I make uploads and give me that thumbs up. Let's see if we can get this video to 100 likes. Now we have Molly's game and I'm really looking forward to this movie. It stars Jessica Chastain as Molly Bloom and also Idris Elba as a gentleman by the name of Charlie Jaffrey. Now this is a biography drama based on a true story and also the book of Molly Bloom and Molly Bloom also uh, wrote um, wrote the screenplay for this movie um, the director is Aaron Sorkin and he's very popular in Hollywood this is actually his directorial debut and he's really known for his writing chops because he wrote the social network Moneyball, uh, Moneyball, Moneyball and Steve Jobs the one that came out in 2015 not the one that had Ashton Kutcher and actually going back to the social network that you know that actually won the Oscar uh, for best screenplay back in 2011 so you know the guy knows what he's doing as far as the writing is concerned but this is his directorial debut uh, before this film was you know actually uh, on set doing filming Molly Bloom herself said that she only wanted Jessica Chastain to play the role so I'm glad that they got to do that there and as far as the scheduling is concerned it was very tight Idris Elba and Jessica Chastain on because of scheduling conflicts only had 10 days to shoot and they actually shot the first 45 pages well 45 pages of the, of their script that had to do with their roles in like the first uh, six days and also uh, another fun fact that I just thought this has to do with poker and I'll get to that in a second all the extra poker players in this movie were actually professional poker players because the director Aaron Sorkin saying this is his directorial debut again wanted it to be very authentic down to the way they hold the chips the way they move their mannerisms and the way they hold the cards and i just thought kind of thought that was cool and he also had a lot of support too because he would hit up his friend david fincher and be like you know hey man i need some help you know i got this scene here should i shoot it this way should i shoot it this way and also kevin costner who's in this movie as well playing uh larry bloom which is uh molly bloom's father um you know he was very supportive as well so i just kind of like how they were kind of backing each other up behind the scenes but like i said this is a true story a fascinating story about molly bloom and she was an olympic class skier and just to some unfortunate events she wanted to be the best skier in america or the world but she had to put her way her skis and pursue other things and that's how she came became into the poker game and just started uh running all these games in california new york to where she would get a bunch of movie stars directors important figures here and there sports figures and, you know, not to her knowledge, she even got, you know, uh, people in the Russian mob. And all this was going on for years, like a decade before uh, she was raided by like 17 FBI agents, you know, and put on trial. And this movie just kind of talks about, you know, how this all went down and just really get di dives into her side of the story. Uh, first off about this movie that I really did enjoy and that I noticed is the narration. That is the majority of how this film is being told. And narration in the film can be a very tricky thing. Um, you know, it can, uh, you know, really be bland and kind of clock you out or, or fall off a cliff. Or it can jump off of a cliff and just soar in the sky and the clouds and carry the, uh, the rest of the film. And to me, that's what it did. From the very beginning of the film when Jessica Chastain was narrating the character of Molly Bloom, I was just kind of like this, you know, ear, you know, ear to the speakers in the theater, just soaking it all in. And it's just so quick as well, you know, uh, with all the words and dialogue and the scripts, because it was just so interesting. There was not one word, not one syllable that I wanted to miss or whatever. And I kind of felt like I would either blink or just kind of turn my head, you know, a certain way that I would miss something. And it just kind of, you know, really that intriguing. Um, I also, like I talked about, I really do like the poker element of the movie. Uh, I am not a poker player myself but my brother is shout out little brother
brother. You know, he is a diehard poker player, and I'm pretty sure that he would love this movie. Even if you, um, so if you like poker, you're gonna be fascinated with this movie. And I'm really interested. I, mean, I know a little bit about poker. I kind of started playing, paying attention to poker in 2003 with the World Poker uh, Championship with uh, Chris Moneymaker when he won. I think in like 03, 04, and that's kind of where I learned Texas Hold'em and things like that. So with the poker element in this film, you know, this is, you know, that, you know, I, I was able to go back and just like, okay, yeah, I remember that I know what a full house is, that and yada yada yada. But even if you don't know anything about poker, do not let this steer you away uh, from this movie because they do break it down and explain to you a lot so that. You you're able to follow along but after molly bloom in real life after she um you know had to put her skis away um she you know wanted to go to law school and you can look all this up of course she wanted to go to law school but she was like hey you know i'm gonna wait about a year a year or two year and a half and you know i'm just gonna live my life freely i was already an olympian so let me just kind of chill for a second and she got a job and you know do, you know doing some office work you know but on the side you know she kind of became a host for a poker game and it just kind of grew from there or whatever and I just like really respected her hustle and her grind on how she was just able to, I don't necessarily want to say manipulate because that kind of seems like there's a malicious intent, but just maneuver her, herself around, you know, all these great Titans that are powerful male figures and, and you know how she's just able to, you know, kind of come out on top of all this and just, you know, her perspective narrated by Jessica Chastain, you know, it was just very, very interesting. And I loved it all. I talked about all the dialogue and how quippy it was. I, that, that was great great that was fantastic um you know especially in between uh Aegis elba's character who was her lawyer Char uh, charlie uh um jaffe and uh, jessica chastain when they are in his uh his firm and she's trying to hire him you know for legal help for legal counsel the back and forth exchanges between these two was very invigorating i really liked that it was quick it was quippy it was snappy um, you know, they always had a jab to shoot back and forth to each other. And, you know, he wasn't just really on board with helping her, you know, initially because of everything that he heard in the tabloids. And he was like, hey, look, if this is the kind of game that you're playing, I don't necessarily want to be involved. I don't know if you can afford me, but I really do like I have a lot of respect for the way Molly Bloom in real life, the way it was portrayed in this movie was able to just be like, no, this was an injustice. This was done to me. I did this, but I didn't do that. And like I said, for like the fourth time time I, I was just eating it all up i loved it i mean this was just a great story and you know it was really interesting some true stories are not worth putting on the screen but this one definitely was and of course with all the dialogue i mean the acting input the all the performances were great as well um especially towards the end there was this one scene where idris elba just kind of just you know blew his top and we're just like, you know, letting these other lawyers know, like, look, man, this is what it is. Why y'all tripping? Why y'all hassling this woman? I mean, come on now. You know, so, I mean, he, he really did do a great job there. Um, I really do want him to get some type of uh, recognition. I could, uh, you know, he, he deserves it. I, I wouldn't be mad, you know, if he... Uh, well, of course, I wouldn't be mad if he got recognition, but I wasn't wouldn't necessarily be upset if he didn't either. But I mean, really, I mean, the story just tells itself. I mean, it's, it's just really fascinating how, um, you know, one random thing in someone's life can just make them go left, but they still are able to come on top. And I just loved it. I mean, this film is layered from the Olympic days to her early days in the uh, running poker games to the mid all the way to she gets to the top to the proceedings. You know, I was just into all of that. I mean, and there's also a nice family element as well, because we don't just get to know Molly Bloom and her story, you know, and her poker days and Olympic days, but it also goes back to her childhood days and delves in why she feels the certain way about her father being played by um what is his name here? Uh, Kevin Costner, why she feels a certain way and why she has a certain attitude, good or bad. And this, go, like I said, goes all the way back to her childhood. So it is a fascinating story. Molly Bloom is a fascinating person. Um, and Aaron Sorkin did a, just a fantastic job in his first directorial debut. So, you know, I just got to give him a little round of applause there. I mean, I love this movie. This is easily one of the better movies that I've seen all year. And it definitely should get some recognition for that. And I recommend that you see it. 
If I had to rate Molly's game out of a 1 out of 10, I would easily give this a 9.5 out of 10. Yes, a 9.5 out of 10. But guys, that's just my opinion. Have you seen Molly's game or do you want to see it? Have I turned you on? Have I turned you off? Do you agree with me or do you disagree with me? Let me know in the comment section below. Let's get this conversation going and keep it flowing. If you like this video, go ahead and give me that thumbs up. And if you don't, that's fine. Subscribe to my channel. Go to my website. Check me out there and look me up on social media. Facebook. Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, all that good stuff is right at the bottom of your screen, and I made it easy by providing a link to all that down in the description box below. But guys, I just want to thank you again for tuning in to my opinion slash review for Molly's Game, directed by Aaron Sorkin um, and um, starring Jessica Chastain, Idris Elba, and Kevin Costner. And before you go, don't forget that my name is Brandon Keith Avery, and that's just my opinion. Peace.